I want you people who are supposed to be free thinkers to watch this. I'm going to put a link in there for the uh, PDF file. I want you to read it and understand what the living hell is going on in the United States of America and why they keep pushing us away from the Constitution. Every aspect of what they do from a AOC to Schumer and Pelosi and Feinstein and Corker and all of them, they're trying to push us away from, from the Constitution of the United States. They want it gone or rewritten. This is in the House of Representatives, Wednesday, April 28, 1954. Under the previous order, the House of Gentlemen from North Dakota is recognized for 30 minutes. Mr. Speaker, there is no doubt there now exists a widespread understanding and agreement made between the agents of this government and the United Nations and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization to build a world government and to make the United States a part of it regardless of our constitution, our laws, and our traditions. When you think about traditions, you, you think about all the statues and stuff that they've taken down. The agents representing the United States may not be deliberately trying to do this treasonous work, but the best that they can be said for them is that they are dupes. Some mighty important people who are, in, are United States citizens are not only going along with the scheme, but are daily and hourly contributing to the efforts in that direction. The purpose of this speech is to lay proof before the American people. You know, they started, they started putting uh, things into people's head. First of all, the people of the United States were completely sick of war after World War II. And these schemers found a fertile field to exploit. They appealed to the churches, the schools, every other organization they could reach on the basis that the way to secure peace in the world was to organize a United Nations group. And through that machinery which they proposed to set up, wars could be stopped before they started. That was a plausible idea, but not knowing the sinister purpose behind the move, millions of people supported the suggestion. Now, the, you find out that the world peace was not the object of this scheme at all. The real purpose was to build a world government controlled by the communists and their dupes in the United States. Then they have the covenant of human rights. We'll, we'll get to that in just a second. Because, I mean, this really hits what's going on in the United States right now. Every day on your news, you hear this shit, so listen to what I have to say. The Genocide Convention uh, provides that a citizen of the United States who has, in the opinion of the United Nations, labeled or injured the feelings of a race, a group, or any member of a group, he shall be subject to trial by violating that covenant. I want to say that again. Let's see if I can find that real quick on here. Uh, let's see, I think it's the next one. Yeah. Let me see, I might have went too far. Let's go back one. No, it's on four. Three, four. Now I'm gonna zoom I'm gonna zoom this in. The Genocide Convention provides that a citizen of the United States who has, in the opinion of the United Nations, libeled or injured the feelings of a race, a group, or any member of a group, and shall be subject to trial by violating that covenant.
I'm not going to let this run and run and run because it takes so much time to upload all this stuff. I'll give you part of it. I want you people to go look at this and read it and form your own opinion. But this shit is happening in the United States of America right under your noses. You don't see it. Oh, a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, it's kind of like the <clears throat> frog. You throw a frog in hot water, he'll immediately jump out. But you put him in a pan of cold water and heat it up real slow, he'll stay in there till he's cooked. And that's just what the people of the United States are. We're getting cooked. They're doing a, a deliberate plan to create public opinion for the upcoming world government. Okay, people, I'll give you the, the gist of it. I want you to go back through there. For God's sake, read this thing. Read this thing, understand it, and then you'll start to see what the hell's going on right in front of your eyes. You, you know, there's like, when you go see a show or something, you know, they got curtains. Well, what the hell's going on behind the curtain? This is what's going on behind the curtain that they don't want you to know about because you might stop them in their tracks. Thanks for watching.